All right, here we go with our video for 12.1, the arithmetic of equations. So last chapter, we practiced balancing quite a few equations, and now we're going to start talking about how we go about using those equations. So chemists use balanced chemical equations to calculate how much either reactant is needed or how much product is formed. Remember that the reactants are on the left and the products are on the right. So if you have H2 plus O2 makes H2O, and to balance that, since we have two oxygens over here, we need two over here, which now gives us four hydrogens here, so we need a two here. So now we have a balanced equation, and we can see that the reactants that we need are hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, and that's going to make water. And we can see that we need twice as many moles of hydrogen gas as we're going to need of oxygen gas. And we're going to get a little deeper into that in just a moment. So a balanced chemical equation can be interpreted in terms of different quantities. Now at the simplest level, we can see numbers of atoms. Right? So here on this side, we have a total of four hydrogen atoms. We have a total of two oxygen atoms on the products side we have a total of four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms so we can see that it's balanced numbers of molecules so here we see that there's two H2 molecules and one O2 molecule and then that's gonna make two H2O molecules now we don't use these to balance anything we only used the numbers of atoms All right. The easiest way is number of moles because when we start working with things like gram formula mass and grams we have to use moles instead of molecules. All right. So here we have two moles of hydrogen same as the number of molecules, one mole of oxygen same as the number of molecules, and two moles of water which was same as the number of molecules. Now the next two you can't directly get off the equation. You have to do some other math and some other conversions, but you could figure out mass and volume simply by using the gram formula mass and density, or the 22.4 liters per mole if we're working at STP. But the most useful one, and the one that we'll really be using pretty much all the time, is going to be moles. Okay, so here's an example. So let's take a look at the formula N2 plus 3H2 yields 2NH3, which is ammonia. So nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas makes ammonia. And if we double check the balancing, there's two nitrogens on the left, two nitrogens on the right. Three times two is six hydrogens on the left. Two times three is six hydrogens on the right, so everything is balanced. All right, so if we count the atoms, in each, right? And our reactants, we can see two atoms of nitrogen, six atoms of hydrogen, and the same thing on the products side. <clears throat> Molecules. We're going to see on the reactant side one molecule of nitrogen and three molecules of hydrogen. And on the product side, two molecules of ammonia. Moles, the same as molecules. One mole nitrogen, three moles hydrogen, and over on the product side, two moles of ammonia. Mass. All right, so here we would have to do some work. All right, so the reactants is going to be 28 grams of nitrogen and about 6 grams of hydrogen. And to get that, all we did was multiply the number of atoms by the atomic mass for nitrogen and the number of atoms which is 6 times the atomic mass for hydrogen. And if we saw there, right, 28 plus 6 is 34, and if we add nitrogen and hydrogen, all three of them, and multiply that by 2, we get 34, because the mass of the products has to equal the mass of the reactants. All right, finally, volume is 22.4 liters per mole, since they're all gases. So there's going to be 22.4 liters of nitrogen, 3 times 22.4 for 67.2 liters of hydrogen, 
And then on the right, it's 2 times 22.4 because it's 2 moles, and we end up with 44.8 liters of ammonia. All right. Now, with the mass, always have to remember the law of conservation of mass, which is why the mass on the left of the reactants has to always be equal to the mass on the right of the products. All right, that brings us to the end. It's nice and short and sweet. Uh, see you guys in